guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, today's episode, we're going to be working on the BMW. Uh, what is the box yet? The box is over there. So, excuse my heater for a second. That's a new thing that I just got. It works really good. It's about 55, 57 degrees in my garage, which is really comfortable to work with. Let me turn it down so I can call. So, today's episode, we're going to be working on the BMW valve cover gasket that's leaking into my, onto my exhaust and it kind of smells really bad when you turn the vehicle off. So let me pop the hood and uh, show you guys. So first thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the front top cover of the vehicle. Let's set this somewhere back here. You can actually see what's going on. In order to remove this valve cover, so in order to get this uh, bracket off and stuff, just a plastic. You don't need to get these guys off to get a valve cover up, but you do need to get this plastic off so you can reach back there for the bolts. You have a couple of screws right here, three right here, and I think three over there. So. What I'm about to do right now, I'm about to uh, start a compressor, build some air, and we're gonna blow all the dust out of the way so we can start unconnecting and disconnecting all of the stuff from the top. So we don't want any debris falling inside the, inside the valve system and the camshaft and things like that because we don't want stuff going inside the oil. But either way, when I'm done with the valve cover, I'm gonna change the oil as well. All right guys, either you can wash your engine before you perform any of this, uh, uh, jobs on the top of your engine when you have to take the covers off and things like that so, you know when you're exposing your internals of the engine you might want to either wash down your engine or spray it out with the air and make sure all the debris that's hiding in certain areas make sure they're all gone before you actually start doing anything so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my gauge and you see all this dust coming out that's all the dust that's been sitting inside and caking on the valve cover so what you guys want to do is always blow everything out before you start working. So let's go ahead and clean up a little bit more before I start actually taking the rail. In order to start working on this, you have this plug right here that you have to unplug. Move it over to this side and your fuel, fuel rail switch is back here. You have to unplug this guy, put it to the side as well. Make sure you don't forget to plug it in because you won't be able to start the vehicle. Then we have to unplug a couple of these. All of these things here are very fragile. So be very careful. Don't break anything off. There you go. This needs a little bit. Move that also to the side. Make sure you put these two locking pins in a safe place. We have pretty much everything out of the way. Right, this is the fuel rail you have to get off. It's uh, pressurized, so just letting you guys know. Don't get surprised if you get some fuel on yourself. Alright, so we'll keep the rag right here. So we can soak everything in. And now we're about to undo all of these guys so we can remove the fuel rail. It's back here that are holding the fuel rail in place. With seven all right, we got that out of the way. All right, so let's uh, remove a couple brackets. So in order to get a valve cover off, you will have to undo this uh, bracket right here. That's your oil, oil cooler lines. They run from there and go into the oil uh, radiator that's sitting underneath the light. This harness needs to be unscrewed. You have to undo all the clear packs, unfortunately, in order to get to this. So we, uh, 
And no wonder why a dealer charges so much money to do this job. Now luckily, I can do it myself. And I hope I don't screw it up. Okay, so we got everything out of the way. Let's put a piece of tape on this other guy. Number uh, number two or number five, which one, whichever one it is. It's gonna be on this side. Alright, so okay, we're gonna put this, flip it to that side, get it out of the way. And now we can actually work on a back cover. Oh, we got it. Okay, so I broke that thing for no reason. I guess you're supposed to twist it, and this thing is supposed to stay on here, but I still have two clips, but I'm gonna have to replace this. And then I can line out of the way. I don't know, so just keep it on. There's a bunch of stuff back here, guys, you have to kind of work way around. I mean, I'm going to try to unscrew everything and then work, see if I can get to that. Loosen everything up. So you have one down here, behind the bracket. Make sure you slide into the back bolt, which is like right there. And then just use the tip of your ratchet. If you don't have a knuckle and it'll get it loose, get back with this one in. If you can't, if you don't have patience to do it, you can also remove this thick bracket that runs all the way around. You can pull that out, removing a lot of stuff, and then it's gonna have an easier access in this M55s to get back to this uh, valve cover back bolts. So whoever did this before, I don't think they ever thought they were both properly, so that's why they're having a leak. But uh, we'll figure this one out. Alright guys, so you really have to go in here, and there is a, another a little sucker right down there. See you? You see it guys? Right there. That's the last one. It's like right here. So, I mean, I got... I got this one off and I got that one off, but there's one in the middle, right there where the little slot is, half a circle. So you have to remove this bracket, the plastic one. It just holds all the wiring together, I guess. And it's sitting right underneath. So, so you might wanna, you, you really have to remove the A-frame, whatever you wanna call this, support bars, chassis, roll bars, whatever you want to call them. I don't even know what they call, but yeah, you really have to remove them and that little plastic piece in the back in order to get to this. I mean, it's really, really pain in the butt. But uh hope it's going to be uh, worth it once I'm done. And that's the only left nut for, let's get it out of there. So we do have this that's cooked on here that was never replaced all right guys so I'm gonna show you right now a little bit around this engine and exactly what we're looking at so this is your camshaft running across and uh, let me get some light on here look at all this gunk I mean this is expected this is pretty much normal for these engines look at all this so we're gonna have to clean all this up there's more over here as you can see this is the bottom end right down there and that's where all the leak was happening going on to my engine or i mean on to the see down there on the bottom it was leaking that was leaking down onto the exhaust manifold on the headers and that's where all the smell was coming from so see the back end is good the top is good 
but see back down here that's where all the oil was seeping off onto the exhaust manifold and there's actually a lot of it if you guys look down here so see like on the heat shield there's a lot of oil actually down here so all right so i'm gonna clean this up and let's go walk over to the valve cover so i didn't see any cracks on here which is really common this things actually develop cracks from heat and especially if you're not careful taking them off they will have some cracks just like any other plastic covers but everything else looks good so let's go ahead and uh, find a place for this guy so we can clean it up All right, guys, so this is the mess I made already so far and on the car, but I'm working on it right now, and uh, we got a valve cover back on, which is not an issue at all. I mean, it just comes right down on top of it. It's a lot easier to put it back on together than actually take it apart. But uh, what I'm about to do right now, I'm going to set my camera over to the tripod, and I'm going to start wrenching, putting it back together. So stay tuned. All right, boys, so we got uh, pretty much everything back in place. So the next thing is to do a uh, button, a uh, couple of these things and uh, wiring harnesses, put everything back together where it needs to be. Guys, this is how it's supposed to be done. Get your valve cover off and take all this stuff apart and put it back in. The only problem I have is a breather tube right here that goes into the intake. I mean, under the valve cover. It's, I, all I have to do is order a new tube here and connect, change the bottom and top, work it that way. But for now, I'm going to put it back together on front and uh, get, button that up. And the car is running, so we have no issues. All right, guys, so and that's how you actually... I don't know if everybody does the same way, but that's how I work on my cars. And that's how I actually did change the valve cover gasket on this one. N55 engine BMW 2015 435. So... It wasn't really that bad as long as you have the right tools and you can do it at home easily. It's not a really that bad as long as you don't break your pipes like I did. But other than that, everything looks straight up forward. You do have to take off pretty much everything. The plastic so you can access the engine cover, the bolts in the back so you don't have to struggle like I did at the beginning. Taking one bolt off, it took me a good 30 minutes. But I went to a local AutoZone store, I bought me some more tools and only took 10 minutes to put everything back in together. So that's pretty much what I did. And of course, as always, I have a mess on my hands now. And this is going to take good 10-15 minutes to clean everything up, wipe all the tools down, oil and grease and everything off, and put everything back in the toolbox. So the hands stay clean. And of course, I do still have to change oil, which is going to be 
I'm gonna do that on the next episode. I'm gonna change the oil and I'm gonna also fix that pipe. But for now, thank you for watching the video, guys. I want you guys to subscribe, hit the like button, the notification bell button as well, so you can follow up along and get notified when I put a new videos up about this car or any other vehicles that I work on every day. No, not every day, but I really attend to work as much as I can, but the life is life, life gets busy and nothing is easy. So thank you again for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Peace.